kind of instinct that you need to be on the lookout for. And this one is a liar. This one is a saboteur. This one is a backbiter. This is the instinct that says, you've had enough. You've given it your best shot. You can stand down. You can back off. You can rest now. Do not listen to that instinct. Do not listen. And that is the instinct you need to fight. You need to push back to smash into the ground. Train that instinct. Train it to say, get up, go, fight on. You don't punish yourself, it's never gonna happen. You don't punish yourself. Somebody say, E, you losing weight. I punish myself. I don't eat meat no more. That's a punishment. I had to give something up to go up. What do you give up? Do you not watch TV? That's your problem. You getting to watch TV and not make money and still survive. The reason why you broke is because you getting a reward and you ain't working. You gotta stop playing. Most of you, what happens is when everything is favorable, you a beast. But when the conditions ain't right, you get smacked in the face. You got to grow up. You got to be a morning person, afternoon person, night person. You got to be when you feel good person, when you sick person, when you tired person. And you don't get here by quitting when you tired. You get here by quitting when you finish, when you done. You don't stop when you tired. You stop when you done. You stop when you complete it, when you execute it. Execution is worship. Greatness is in you, but the problem is somebody's got to push you. The problem is somebody's got to give you a reward. Somebody's got to podge you. The problem is you're not self-motivated. You have to stay in beast mode. And so I'm looking at the clock and I'm saying technically you can go back to sleep. Technically, but Eric Thomas, if you go back to sleep, you might not wake up to 3.30. You might not wake up to 4 o'clock. If you wake up at 4 o'clock, Eric, for 30 minutes of sleep, you might be pushing your goals back a week. You might be pushing your goals back a month. You might be pushing your goals back an entire year by sleeping for two hours because you missed an opportunity. What do you do when somebody's not there watching you? What do you do when you have to either do what it is you know you're supposed to do or you get to take the playoff because no one's going to know the difference? Because it's really easy for anybody to come to work on the days they feel like killing it and killing it. But what happens on the days that you don't feel like killing it? What happens on the days that you don't feel like getting out of bed? Because those are the days that are going to define where you end up in your life.